What's up everybody and welcome back to some Fallout 3. Today we are going to probably continue on with the main story, explore a little bit more of the Washington DC area, uh, especially over by like the Museum of Technology. And I also want to try to get down over to Rivet City finally uh, to do some, not only a quest there, but also I think there's like a trader um, and a bunch of other people down there. So uh, at the end of the last stream, we finally got our first companion, dog meat, and I also have this awesome, I uh, what is it, T fifty T fifty one B armor, I think it is, or something like that. Uh, let me actually check. Yep, T fifty one B power armor. We got it from doing the uh, Operation Anchorage storyline or DLC, which was pretty sick. I had a lot of fun uh, exploring that area and doing everything that I could. Uh, while we were there and then uh yeah i'm feeling feeling pretty good right now we've got a lot of great stuff uh we're currently level 12 so slowly but surely making progress uh as always if you guys end up enjoying it leaving a like on the youtube vod or live stream makes a huge difference and we'll see if we hit that 20 like goal which uh recently we have been so let's uh let's actually fast travel down to where the um where is it yeah we're gonna go go down to the museum of technology and we'll just start here and time to test out now this shotgun has been pretty good against a lot of enemies we'll see if it's good against these guys hey i'll take it Already doing some damage. Oh. Now, is this one of the Fallout games? I I think it might be, but it, I'm not sure. Is this one of the ones that your companions can die, like for good in? Come on, reload. Yes, it is. Okay. So definitely have to be careful with that. Definitely have to keep that in mind. Come on, let me try to grab this. Was it only like Fallout 4 when they, they stopped that? Where they wouldn't die as often? Cause I kind of, I feel like I kind of remember that issue also being in like, uh, maybe New Vegas as well. Damn, we are just taking them down now. Whew. This shotgun is something else. What? Oh, I missed both shots. Oh my god. I'm just clearing out what I can over here. While we're at it, we might as well. Gotcha. Actually, a huge change. From my last stream to this, I mean, we were still struggling at the very beginning for a bit. Uh, but then once I finally got, is it, is it just this armor has got a lot of durability or something? Because I feel like I took no damage there. Where is it? 
Uh, peril. Yeah, durability is 40. Charisma? Your charisma goes up by one with this? Huh. Surprising. <laughs> Dog means not too happy right now. Save there. What's down here? Ammunition box. Some more ammo. Yeah, we're actually doing kind of good on like cash now too. I uh, can't sleep when enemies are nearby. All right, that's fine. One of the things I want to try to do today as well is kind of upgrade some of my base stats again. Because I was, I was seeing that if you get your intelligence up, which honestly I did not remember. But if you get your intelligence up to 9, you gain more skill points every time you level up. And I'm about to be halfway through max level. So if I do that now, we'll get a decent amount more skill points down the line which I just did not remember at all go inside here good old dog meat oh man missed Jesus. these guys go down so easily now I remember when I was having to use, uh, literally all I could use was mines to take them down. All right. Got to repair these hunting rifles. What's your PC specs? I have a 3080 Ti. And an i7 uh, 12th gen. Two stealth boys right there. Save again. And then 32 gigabytes DDR5. Tech welcomes you to our new line of subterranean oh. vaults featuring our patented triple S technology. Ah. Triple S technology is vault tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance safety, survivability, and sanitation. It's a vault tech, uh, like memorial. With only a projected 2% failure. Who's he having a fallout with this time? Uh, gotcha. <laughs> well, I can tell you who we're not. Dog meat. Look at him. Man. Look at that good boy. Loyal doggo, true. I love this little museum that we got to go through. Kind of cool. All right. I mean, we are in the Museum of Technology, to be fair. Delta, Delta 9 rocket. Commissioned by the USSA in 2020. Oh. Oh, we got more enemies. Where? I missed both. Hurry up and die. I'm hungry. 
Dog meat, where are you at? have to worry about my armor right now or my health it's crazy how overpowered i am now <laughs> i'll take it though been watching x-men nah i i haven't i've heard nothing but good things but the, the thing is i never watched like the original series um like, I watched the first two episodes of the original series. That's about it, though. Goat Game got, like, uh, only seen season one of the original. Yeah, I wanted to watch. I found, like, a 45-minute video that just recaps everything from uh, the original series. Oh, okay. 97 is the best Marvel since Infinity War. Yeah, I have been I have been hearing some crazy stuff. I saw like people are saying, holy shit, that last episode. So I, I do need to get back on that. I have been watching season two of What If Though. I've been trying to finish that. Because I'm a little bit late on that too. There he goes. Oh, my bad. Chinese assault rifle. Nice. Oh no, the condition is going down. No, dude. Not the condition of the gun. I have four fully repaired rifles right now. We're going to have to start dropping some. What game is this? This is Fallout 3. Yeah, I need to get on that boat, man. Whoa. Oh! That's kind of cool. All right, I don't think I'm gonna take as many hunting rifles anymore because I'm running out of space. Far out space facts. <laughs> Watched all of them last night. Dude, that's crazy. Like all the episodes or the movies? Alright, what am I missing here? I think we needed to go up. You can always have one to repair the current one. That's true. Oh, we need it. Okay. Well, guess we're not doing that. Maybe we need to go this way. Found a first aid. Just started this game yesterday because of the series. Forgot how much I adore Fallout 3. Yeah, same here. 
I started uh, like two weeks ago, but it, it's been so much fun revisiting these. Because I, I literally have not played the first, uh, well, Fallout 3 since like 360 days, personally. So it's, it's, it's almost like playing it for the first time. There's some parts that I, I do remember specifically, but a lot of them, not, not nearly as much. It's been a lot of fun though. Man, I can't even hack into these. Havoc, yo, thank you for the GG. Opinion on you, New Vegas? I love New Vegas. New Vegas is the one that I've played the absolute most out of all of them. I also like 4 too, though. Like, I, I, I do enjoy all of them. I think they're all like, uh, good in their own ways. Boone? Hell yeah, dude. That's what I, I can't wait to get him as a, uh, as a companion. Funny, because I, I knew a guy named Boone as well. All right, where am I supposed to go here? I'm missing something. Fox? Yeah, I, I would like to get Fox as a companion in this. I haven't yet, though. Where are we supposed to... Oh, oh, the communication. All right. All right, we got the dish. July 16th, 1969. Valiant 11 became the first manned space vehicle to touch down on the moon. Yeah, wasn't so in Fallout lore, I think the U.S. was the first ones to get to the moon rather than uh like russia i think it was any mods installed no i don't i don't really have any mods um the only thing that i have installed is there's a there's like a community patch or something that just fixes miscellaneous bugs um i think that's really the only thing that i have installed and I, I had to downgrade the version. But that that's about it. Okay. Yeah, I think I guess the game is sped up a little bit. Uh because of the frame rate. Which honestly at this at this point I don't mind because I'm I'm so used to it. It's been kind of nice. Especially for, for traveling. Find the Washington Monument. Wait, that's all we need to do now? Find the Washington Monument? Let me save for a second. Could try getting to the other side. Oh no, this gun's starting to jam. Man, that was my best gun for a while too. All right, I'll use one of the hunt hunting rifles I got. Is this a complete playthrough? Yeah, I've been doing a, a full playthrough. My goal is to go through all of the games as well go through this then new vegas and then uh four and then probably 76 
that. Yeah, you should have seen the aim before I started upgrading my, uh, upgrading my small arms. Stuck on Dragon's Dogma 2 right now. Dragon's Dogma is so, so fun. I love that game. I really hope that they do some DLC for it because I had so much fun as all the, uh, the vocations. Come on. There it is. Woo. Nice. You need someone to dive into 76 uh with Xiaomi. Sounds good, Maddie. Yeah, man. I I definitely um I've been watching some other people play it recently on Twitch and stuff. So I definitely want to go back to it at some point. Alright, nice. Fix that up. What platform are you playing on? I'm playing it on PC. Chat, by the way, thank you for all the likes so far, wherever you're watching. I appreciate it. My YouTube is Cassis Plays and Twitch is Cassis Plays TV. Every Friday, I've been playing Fallout, but since it's the weekend, I typically do like three streams on the weekend. This morning, we finished up Assassin's Creed 1 after some technical issues. Uh, now we're working on some Fallout. I think later tonight, we're going to chill and do a Manor Lord stream. And then we'll probably be bounce between this and something else tomorrow but my goal is to go through all the fallout games it's just going to be over time not every day Keep moving, Wastelander. Yes. all right uh can i go in am i allowed in here destiny i know i know i i should i need to i i don't know Soon, eventually, soon, TM. It's not my first time playing Fallout, but it's been a long time since I have played, so it, it feels like it. Okay. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. I remember this a little bit. Holy throwback. Install the Virgo dish and activate the relay. There we go. Speak to three dog about dad. Grab all these. Yeah, I'll sleep in the bed for one hour. Back down we go. Are we going down? Oh, we are going down. Yeah, the, the show has been a lot of fun so far. I'm like on episode four-ish. Or no, I think we started five. So we've been typically watching like one and a half each time, me and my wife. Which she she is not a Fallout fan or she hasn't played the games or anything, but she's been enjoying it. What's your average FPS for Fallout 3? Uh, that's a good question. I honestly don't even know what I'm getting. Uh, 85 right now, according to... Uh, Nvidia, 90-ish. Yeah, 100, 95, 94, 90, 91. I should technically cap it though. Like I, I should cap it to 60, but 
That's all good. Part of me kind of wants to make my way towards Rivet City. And then come back up and fast travel to the next location since we're, we're halfway there. Let's go do that, actually. Who's this? Willow. Another human with oh, a death God. wish. Welcome to the mall, tourist. Uh, where'd you come from? Nice to meet you too. I'm the sentry for Underworld, city of ghouls, inside the museum. For a tourist, you're pretty clueless. My name's Willow, by the way. Did you say a city of ghouls? Sure did. Underworld. It's right inside the Museum of History and through the big skull. Chat, hear me out. Most of the residents ain't crazy hear me out, humans, okay? But they'll sell to you, fix you up so long as your caps are good and you ain't a ghoul hater. Okay. You're crazy to stand out here. Aren't you afraid of the super mutants? Those knuckle draggers? Nah, they don't bother us ghouls. Maybe they see us as kin or something. I don't know. Now there's other assholes. All right. Other assholes? Yeah, you know, those humans like you. Oh, us yeah, smooth maybe skins. Maybe like you, I don't know, but humans all the same. The Brotherhood of Steel guys with their testosterone and power armor. Those psycho <laughs> Talon company mercs. Those other assholes. That's fair. Alright, I gotta go. Till next time, Sightseer. Museum of the His of History entrance. Save. Oh. The underworld journey. Oh well, would you look at that? Oh hey we there. We got us a smooth skin visitor. Ooh we we ain't seen one of your type in a long time. <laughs> Where am I? You're in underworld, smooth skin. It's the only safe place for we ghouls in DC. We're here out of sight and out of mind. The mutants leave us alone, and the slavers usually don't come this far into the city, so it's not bad. Really, the Brotherhood of Steel is the only thing we have to worry about. So long as we don't leave Underworld, that is. What's your beef with the Brotherhood of Steel? Bastards. They don't seem to be able to tell us apart from the super mutants. Or maybe they just don't care. They see us and shoot on sight. Mm. At least they have the common courtesy to miss most of the time. Still. <laughs> bigots true all right i'm gonna look around enjoy your stay just try and keep from shooting up the place we got a nice little deal going on down here we'd like to keep it nice okay you know anything about the mind wipe that escaped android i used to think it was all so much bullshit but then i got this holotape here listen to it yourself nice i had speech 100 for that one all right um, can you repair my things? Can you pay me? Then I can repair your stuff. Oh, sweet. You actually can. Yeah, repair that shotgun. Hell yeah. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Everything else is looking good right now. What can you tell me? Or actually, what do you do around here? Me? I keep every hunk of old rusted pre-war garbage around here in operating condition. We've got lights, water, and ventilation all running off the old crap they used to keep this place going for the tourists. I've managed the to tourist. keep it going so far, but, well, I'm not sure how long I can keep it up. What's wrong? We've scavenged just about all the scrap metal from all the places we can safely get to. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Hell, not before long I'm going to have to disassemble poor old Cerberus for parts. Hey, you get around, don't you? Tell you what, 
You bring me back any scrap metal you find out there, and I'll trade you whatever I can. What do you mean by that? You can that? work out a trade. We've got some stuff around here that we don't need, but a smooth skin like you might make use of it. Okay. Sure, I think I can help out. Well, all right. That's good to hear, stranger. Just come on back to me when you've gathered some scrap metal. You'll find it just about anywhere. On junked robots, in old buildings, you name it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I have some, actually. Really? Great. I can finally get around to patching up the heaters. Was our deal again? For every five bits of scrap metal you give me, I'll give you a stim pack, some right away, or a dose of Radex. I need scrap, you need goods. We both win. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about the underworld? We were driven underground. Uh, just decided to replay this. Almost 50 I years hope you ago. enjoy it. Between the super it's been humans, a lot of fun. The beasts and you crazy humans, it's not safe up there. So we stay down here, out of sight and out of trouble. We get a few smooth skins every so often, but most of us don't trust them. You're not going to give us more reasons not to be trusting, are you? Nah, of course not. Of course not. Currently replaying New Vegas after seeing the show. Yeah, that, that's what my goal is, too. After I finish up uh, Fallout 3, I'm definitely going to be doing New Vegas next. Let me All know right, if you have any of go. that scrap metal to sell. Cerberus. Watch your step. All right, let's talk to. Let's actually talk to him. That's it. Civilian on deck. Uh, you ever get outside Cerberus into the wasteland? Negatory. I have been programmed to remain on premises at all times. In the event of hostilities, I will respond with deadly force. Go underworld. Go ghouls. Yeah. Damn this pansy zombie programming. Okay, gotta go. Closing dialogue system. Closing dialogue you system. Smell that? What do we got here? Hear a story about Tulip. The wastes. Yo, Quinn. Oh, why, hello there. It's crazy Pleasure how. To meet you. I'm Quinn. How all of them look so different from one another, and they're all terrifying in their own ways. Nice to meet you, Quinn. You too, stranger. I know a lot of people around here don't take kindly to humans wandering around, but I've met a lot of your people in my travels. It's crazy how you can just, like, stumble upon places like this, too. Like, I was just going to keep going towards the Washington Monument or fast travel down to, uh, or figure out a way to Rivet City. And here we are now in the underworld. Is the Lincoln Memorial around here somewhere? Uh, actually, I know where it is, so. Bye. Yeah, I don't need to ask that. Tulip. Oh, a human. Well, hello. Welcome to Underworld Outfitters. <laughs> it's... It's been so long since I had a customer. Oh. What do you do with your money that you make down here? Well, we spend it at Carol's or the Ninth Circle. But I don't like it there. The rest we give to Quinn to trade for stuff we need whenever he goes out. Do you know anything about the Underworld? Well, yeah, there's a lot of old pamphlets and stuff down here. I've pretty much read it all. Hmm. How did the ghouls end up here? At first, it was just a couple people after the war. This was one of the only places that wasn't falling down or on fire after the bombs fell. I think that Carol is actually one of the few that were here then. But over the years, word got around. There had been ghouls living in little pockets all around. Not really so much anymore. Most of them either went feral or ended up here. I'm sure there are still a few out there. But anyone with any sense is in Underworld. Yeah, I'm... I, uh, I remember. So Carol apparently is one of like the first schools ever, or like one of the youngest schools, something along those lines. I, I can't remember what it was, but I was reading about her last night. Um. Come back yeah, I kind of forget. It's kind of lonely down here. Oh. Poor tulip. Let me see what you got for sale. If any of the armor fails to protect your life, now nah, this I'll isn't you this isn't my first refund. playthrough. 
It's been a long time since I played, though. That's for sure. All right, I'm going to sell these two guns. Uh, let's get rid of this assault rifle. Three of those. Damn, she's got a lot of caps. I'll take all the ammo she's got. Can't go wrong with this. Railway rifle. I'll take her skin stim packs as well. All right, let's see what else we got here. I need to drop a lot of this stuff. Environmental suit. Honestly, I think I might get rid of. And we're never really going to need the neural interface suit again. Stealth boy. Damn, these sell for a lot. Get rid of that. The one any shotgun shells. Wait, did I miss them? Oh, hell yeah. Yes, I do. Hell yeah, I do. Damn, we got some good trading going on right here. I'm still not sure what the food sanitizer does. Like, I know somebody says it makes it easier to eat, but yeah. Yeah, good call on the shotgun shells. I missed them. Please. Especially because the shot uh the combat shotgun that I have been using, that thing does insane damage. Door to chop shop. Hello. Barrel ghoul, damn. Nurse Graves, yes. Dr. Barrows. Welcome to the chop shop. I'm Nurse Graves, Dr. Barrows' assistant. Don't let our place's name fool you. The doctor is very good with injuries, dismemberments, and trauma. If That's you require good. any stim packs or blood packs, let me know. Okay. Huh? Yes. Dr. Barrows at your service. Dr. What Barrows you to the at chop your shop? Sir. Come to lend me a hand, I hope. I can always use fresh human samples. Um, what do you mean by that? Fresh human samples? You haven't heard? I'm the foremost authority on ghoul evolution. I want to know what makes us tick. Something doomed us to this rotting form, and I aim to discover what it is. So, I need samples of human skin, organs, and other parts to make the experiments valid. Oh. Touch me and I'll yell zombie. Sorry, I aim to keep all my samples to myself. Pity. Well then, what can I do for you? Uh, ooh. You know who might have a... I'm not even going to be able to... I'm not even going to try to say that. They say old Pinkerton at Rivet City somehow <laughs> got his hands on a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. Lipoplasticator? Amazing, really. Oh, okay. That's actually where we're headed anyways. Later. I want to go down to Rivet City. Yeah, we, we did the... um. Yesterday, I did the Operation Anchorage DLC. So right now, I'm, I'm wearing that armor from doing that. Good to see you. That's secure. Which that it was pretty cool. I I I'm not sure if I ever did that during my first playthrough of the game. I kind of been saying it, but I I really don't remember much. What I do remember is it would take like a solid minute and a half to load into each room every time, and today now it's like thirty seconds or not even it's like three seconds. Carol. She yeah, is, is here. It? Oh, oh my! Someone new. I'm. I'm so sorry. You must think I'm terribly rude. Welcome. 
Welcome to Carol's place. I'm Carol. It's not much I know, but it's mine. So if you need anything, just let me know. Greta will get you any food you want, and I handle the rooms. It's so good to have someone new here, even if it is an ugly old smooth skin. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't make that face. You'll love it here. Have you ever heard of a guy named Glo Gob? Gob? Yes, of course. He's my son. Well, not really. Oh. Not like you would think of a son. We ghouls don't really work like that. Oh. But I love him like he's my own. Do you know him? Have you Gob's seen from him? Megaton, Is he right? I think. He's working in a bar in Megaton. Oh, that's wonderful. Might be a slave, though. I'm so glad. If you see him, please tell him that his mother misses him and loves him and that I hope he's happy. But he shouldn't come visit. It's too dangerous. No, no, he should stay put where he is. How'd you end up here? Oh. Such a Me long when I story. wake up in the you morning. Possibly want to hear <laughs> Same. <about that. laughs> no, Carol. I'd I'd love to hear your story. Well, okay, but it's nothing special. I was born in 2051, so yes, that makes me a pre-war ghoul. Do you remember that? So she was born before all of the war and everything started, which is crazy. And the year now is 2277, I think it is. I thought it was 2077, but it's 2277. Do you remember the day the war started? I do. I was in a shelter with my father when the bombs hit. In DC, we had the luxury of getting a warning after the West Coast was gone. Damn. I was just a little girl then. We couldn't afford a space in one of the vaults. I remember filing down into that shelter, my father rushing me in. He stopped to help this one family. And I looked up and called his name. There was a flash of light brighter than anything you can imagine. I woke up a few hours later. The first thing I did was run up to where my father had been. He... He was gone. But the strangest thing, Damn. there was his shadow burned into the wall so crisp and clear, like he was standing next to me. The heat had burned it into the concrete. What was the wasteland like after the war? The city was on fire for weeks, maybe months, I don't know. I hid down here in the museum. It was the closest building to the shelter I was in. Hmm. But I could hear what was happening above. People howling like animals. Chaos, looting, killing. It's like every foul thing inside of them came out. It was a nightmare. I... I don't want to talk about it. Damn. So how'd you end up as a ghoul? I don't know how it happens. Dr. Burroughs says it was radiation. All I know is that people kept showing up here in the museum. After things calmed down above ground, we tried to live down here as best we could. Mm. After a while, things got strange. My skin started to get dry and flake off. Everyone's did. It took a while. Months. Maybe a year. But sooner or later, everyone ended up like this. Some of them went crazy. Some of us just accepted it. After a while, other ghouls would find their way in here, and Underworld just sort of grew. No one bothered us down here. We were happy enough to leave them alone. And once my Greta showed up, it was a good enough life for me. Damn. See? And you said you weren't interesting. You tell the same story for 200 years, you'll feel pretty uninteresting too. <laughs> True. Uh, what can you tell me about Underworld? 
I've been here since we founded the town. Before that, well, life out in the wastes wasn't very pleasant for us. But so long as we stay down here, we can live our lives as people, not monsters. I think things are better this way for everyone. Hmm. Okay. Gotta go. You're not bad for a human. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Carol. You look great. You know, 200 years, you look fantastic right now. You know, wood. Oh, that's Winthrop. Is this guy Snowflake? Oh. Oh. Hey, look at that. A human with hair. Hey, you think we can do something about that? Uh, about my hair? Yeah, man. That's what I do. I cut hair. I know, I know you look around here and there ain't a lot of oh. work to show up. Wait, right? what? These corpses only got half a head of this stuff, so I never get a chance to work on a full head. Come on, no charge. Oh, God, what's he gonna do? How about a haircut? Are you taking a jet over here? Well, yeah. So, what else do I have to do to except get high? You think that I need to be sober to cut a ghoul's hair? Half the work is cutting the skin off. <laughs> These guys don't care how they look anyway. They just humor me. How does a ghoul end up as a barber? I prefer stylist myself, but whatever works for you. Everyone has a gift, you know? I used to live in Rivet City. Oh. Folks there had enough money for me to do okay. But after I uh, changed, no one would let me touch them. I ended up here. Of course, a ghoul with a barber shop makes about as much sense as a screen door on a submarine. So, fuck it. I just fuck took it. up Jet. At least it passes the time. That's fair. All right, got to go. Remember, no charge. Okay. That's Carol's place. Ninth circle. You got something to say? Hey. Why are you barking? This is our town. You best be careful. Yes, ma'am. I am. Don't worry. Sir. Well, now. Look here. We got They're all so nice, to be honest. I ain't ever seen before. I'm Azrakal. And this... This is the ninth circle. Chat, once again, thank you for Folks all the likes so problems, far. And I got liquor to sell them. Well, liquor and a few other pick-me-ups. Uh, uh, by the way, my YouTube is Cassis Plays and Twitch is Cassis Plays TV if you want the full screen. Who's the guy in the corner? Wait, there's a guy in the corner? The guy in the corner. That's Sharon. Let's just say, well, he's a loyal employee. Don't mess with me. And he won't mess with you. Oh, okay. Uh, what does he do for you? Watches over the bar. Keeps the drunks in line. Pretty much, I point at something and uh, Sharon hurts it. He's the best thug a corrupt bartender could ever ask for. He never bothers me with his own annoying sense of morality. Hmm. So he's your slave? No, he is not. Sir, you insult me. I do not believe I'm sorry. In okay, I'm just asking. It is an abomination. Okay, that's fair. I am a firm believer in personal choice. To force another person into bondage is unthinkable. Chains are earned, never forced. Sharon made some choices that landed him in my employ. The matters of our contract is between him and I. No one else. Hmm. Okay. Very well. Uh, let me see the real goods. What can you tell me? Alright, gotta go. Sharon. Oh, this guy. No. Go talk to Azrakal. I yeah, but talk to Azrakal. So if your travels take you to No. I just I Okay. Cool. A human. Want to talk about Sharon's contract? Oh. Would you now? 
He is a highly valuable asset to me and to the Ninth Circle. What did you have in mind? Is he a companion that you can get? Uh, I guess so. Looks like what? What? What's his uh morality? Is he neutral? Yo, chat, thank you for the 10,000 likes there on TikTok. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Neutral? Okay. Huh. Um, maybe. I uh, I mean, yeah, I could instead of dog meat. Where would dog meat go, though? Because I don't have a house right now. We work some sort some sort of deal. I suppose we could do that, uh, although you might not like the deal that I have to offer. You see, I don't like competition. Not at all. Okay. It goes against every principle that I. Greta, the waitress over at what? Carol's. I want you to kill her. I don't care how. Just make it quiet. But you can have both Do it, dog meat and, and Sharon. You have Sharon's contract. Wait, really? <laughs> Wait, really? One non-human and one human-like companion. Oh, that's cool. Uh, no, I'm not going to kill Greta. No, I want nothing to do with this. No stomach for hard work, eh? No matter. If you don't want to do the job, then come up with the cash. Otherwise, I'll just hang on to this contract. All right, I got the, I got the cash. I knew you'd change your mind. Just remember, Sharon is a valuable asset to me, and he doesn't come cheap. Are you ready to deal? Uh, I'll give you a thousand caps for it. <laughs> You're kidding. Okay, here's two thousand. You're kidding, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> come back when you have a... What do you want? All right, change my mind. That's a shame. I guess I'll just have to hold on to this contract a little bit longer. Yeah, I plan on doing, uh, uh, oh, I plan on doing New Vegas, Come back New Vegas time. after I finish three. All right. Yeah. We're going to try talking to him now. It's been a while. What have you been up to? Talk to Azra Cow. Bro, I'm trying to buy you. Talk. No, go talk to Azraka. I just talk, hmm? sir. Cool, a human. Two thousand. You're kidding, right? <laughs> what? That's a. Sh All right, gotta go. What's the word? Sharon, I'm trying to buy you. Man. You need just need to just talk to me. Just talk to me. I'll set you free. I'll take you out into the wasteland, my dude. Just listen to me, please. Give me, a, give me a second. Just give me a sec. Talk to Azra, Cal. Okay. Um. All right. Wait. Hold. Feel free to lay your troubles at my doorstep. Just bring some caps with you when you do. I hope you don't mind the smell. You know I'm sensitive. Tamper with that. And we're going Quiet to makes people stop drinking. Turn the radio back on. My bad. Jeez. He got. He <laughs> got so upset once I turned off the radio. You're Greta, right? If you want something to eat, you should order it quick, hon. The stew just stopped moving. 
Uh, what do you know about the underworld? To tell you the truth, hon, I don't really know much about it. All I know is that it used to be some sort of exhibit. Something about hell or the afterlife or something. Tulip knows that sort of stuff. Not like anyone around here ever buys anything from that shop of hers. Yo, chat, thank you for all the likes once again. Appreciate it. And Chronolis, thanks for the follow there. Oh, I gotta go now. You humans have such weak stomachs. Oh, oops. Um, I don't know how we recruit the guy. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it, but I'm also not going to, you know, I'm not going to cry about it. Wait, that's crazy. Yeah, I never knew that you could have one human and one non-human companion. All right, let me save again. Thanks for listening, All right, Sharon. Hi. Why don't we work out a deal? I suppose we could do that. Uh, although you might not like. The I'm not gonna deal kill Greta, to guys. I'm you not see, gonna do it. I don't like competition. <laughs> not at all. It goes against every principle that I. Greta. Yeah, I know you want that. Why not just have? Sharon do it? Sure, Greta is nothing. I'll do it. Yeah, why not have him do it? Loyal employee that he is, Sharon would do it without question if I asked him to. However, the entire town would come down on me for this. Greta is quite popular around here. If Sharon is the one who kills her, everyone will know that it was me who ordered Greta's death. I need Sharon clearly visible and in public when Greta dies, so that I can fairly claim ignorance of the situation. Yo, that's crazy. Scott, thanks for the sub there. Uh, no, I want nothing. I want nothing to do with it. Let me see the real goods. Why, whatever do you mean? Then I guess I'll take my caps elsewhere. Oh, no, no, no. Don't be hasty. I'm sure that we can work out a compromise. Here, step this way and let me show you what I have. Okay. All right, he's got some stuff. I'm good, though. So. Oh, you know what? You know why it didn't work when I said I'll give you 2,000 caps? Guess what? I don't have 2,000 caps. I have 900. For some reason, I thought I had 9,000. <laughs> you know what? That makes sense. I don't have 2,000 caps to give. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're going back to... So I'm trying to make my way down to Rivet City and just easily got sidetracked. Yeah, there. Do the caps glitch. Ah, that's okay. I could... I mean, if I wanted to, I could open up Wii Mod right now and give me a million dollars. Or caps. May equip the where the shotgun go. And we'll do assault rifle third. Get wrecked. Yeah, it's kind it's kinda cool that uh Fallout 4 is getting an update. I know PC, it's kind of just getting like wide, uh, widescreen support or something. And then I think it's just going to make it easier for our modders, but it's probably also going to break a ton of mods. So 
I guess we'll see. Oh, I know where we're at. I remember this. I think I'm going the right way. Oh, yeah, it wants me to go back down this way. What is happening? Is there a date yet? I don't. Uh, is there a date yet? The 25th of this month. Which is the one that you play multiplayer? That's 76. By the way, if you guys are on PC, uh, I saw Fanatical is doing a deal right now. It's like 20 bucks and you get all the Fallout games. You get one, two, three Game of the Year Edition, four Ultimate Edition, New Vegas Ultimate Edition, and um, Fallout 76. It's literally every single one for like 20, I think it's like 20, 24 bucks, something like that. That's it. Yeah, if you don't already have it. Um, but it's probably for Steam, though. That's the only thing. Oh, whoops. I picked up the wrong thing. Uh, that's on Fanatical. What's Fanatical? They're a, uh, a reseller site. Not like, not in the way of like somebody buys a key and then sells it like eBay, but they they work with publishers to get uh, large amounts of keys. So they're, they're reputable. They're one of the places that I usually buy games from and uh, them and Green Man Gaming are like the two places I usually go to. Impact. Let's sleep for one hour. Uh, sometimes they don't have. Well, if you're on console, they don't have like keys a lot of times, because that goes directly through uh, like Sony when you buy a key. Unfortunately, sometimes they do. Yeah, I've been I've been watching the show. Uh, I've been been enjoying it. I'm only on like episode five ish. Yes, yeah, right. Run, dude. I forgot how brutal Fallout is. I always forget how brutal it is. Come on. Get dead. Oh. Hold on, I'll be right there, dog meat. Hold on. reload that this armor is doing me ugh, it's doing amazing right now the durability is so good do you have any issues with crashes yeah i've i've definitely had a few um it, typically during stream i i usually get like at least one or two uh but i haven't gotten one yet just yet for today so we're also only an hour in Scott, thanks for the sub there. Oh, got the Talon Company.
How many shots is he gonna take? God damn. We got the contract. Yeah, chat, once again, my, my YouTube is cast this plays, Twitch is cast this plays TV. If you want the full screen at all. We have been doing a full series playthrough of all the Fallout games. Uh, we started with three. My goal is once I finish this game, then I'll be moving on to the next. Uh, which is, of course, New Vegas. And so on. Alamurks are tough. Yeah, they, they, uh, they're a little bit rough sometimes. Oh, this is Rivet City? Damn. Oh, it's literally on a boat. That's sick. Searching for that special something? Yo. Hey, hey, looking to buy? Hey, hey. Here to buy. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Assuming you need the random junk that I've got. Yeah. What are you trying to say, sir? What are you trying to say there? Scoped 44 Magnum. Uh, the 308. Hank, thanks for the follow there. Yeah, New Vegas is definitely the one that I've played the most. Out of all the Give Fallout games. You need Good luck out there. Hey. But uh, I still enjoy all of them. What's up, Mr. Northern Light? How's it going? Is this your first playthrough? Nah, this isn't my first playthrough. And Tay, thanks for the follow there, too. Um, yeah, I, I played originally on like 360 days, but I don't think I've played it since then. So... Carlos. Please, please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. I do. Here's this purified water. You mean you don't want anything for it? I don't have any caps or anything. That's fine. I can just have, I can just have it for free? Yeah. I insist, my friend. It's the least I can do to help. Really? Seriously? My God. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll never forget this. You better not. Yeah, give me that good karma. Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. Wow. I feel like I kind of remember Rivet City, but not really at the same time. Hold it right there. Hey, I'm holding. State your business in Rivet City. I'm looking for my father. Um, here's a research. Uh, I'm here to research on the city's history. Research, huh? Yeah. I can't help you there, but you're free to ask around inside. Just don't start any trouble. Okay. What do you? I think he just would have took anything. Is there anyone on this ship named Pinkerton? Are those rumors still floating around? Look, I don't have time for swapping ghost stories with you. Pinkerton's a legend, dead or long gone. Yo, Don't care much, I've got real people to take care of. Go bother someone else. Thank you for the resub there. Or I'm um, not the resub. Thank you for the sub with Prime. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, Chad, if you've been if you've been watching this show and you haven't used your Amazon Prime or your Twitch Prime yet, hey, I know the perfect place to use it right now. I know the perfect place. You know, it's use it or lose it if you haven't used it for the month. Uh, I'm kind of lost. Can you help me? Yeah, but suppose. thank you, Hank. Appreciate that. Who's in charge around here? It doesn't work like that. I'm in charge of security. Dr. Lee runs most of everything else. Okay. Bannon kind of represents the merchants. He also owns Potomac Attire. Uh, 
Thanks for the help. Carry on then. <laughs> thanks for playing my favorite game. Yeah, well, thanks for uh, stopping by. Yeah, it's it's been a lot of time, a lot of fun playing this again. That's the one thing that's nice about playing like Fallout games today is they they load into the areas within a few seconds. But I remember when it used to take, you know, Hello? two minutes, two, three minutes just for loading into another location. King of breaking into this. this is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. Yeah, bathroom break while it loads. Actually, so real. So real for that. <laughs> All right, let me, let me go grab a snack and a drink. While I wait for the two minutes. I uh, sound like you've been sampling your own stuff. Relax, I'm just looking around. Oh, okay. Well, let me know if you want anything to buy, that is. Okay. You know, uh, what can you tell me about this uh, city's history? Well, I don't really know, to tell the truth. How does any city get started, really? But I've heard Bannon talk about how he was responsible for its success. So I'd ask him about it. Hmm. Okay. Time for me to leave. I'm sure you'll be back soon. Hey. Haven't been able... To, yeah, I know a lot of people said they haven't been able to get the game to run. Um, It ran for me when I launched it. And then the w one thing that I did do was to get the game to run in borderless mode. Is There's like a patch you can install, like a Nexus mod thing. Um, and then in order for that to work, you also have to downgrade the version by uh, a point, which is pretty much just the same thing as replacing the EXE. But after that, those two things, it's been working pretty good for me so far. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. I know my buddy was saying that he was having a, a big issue trying to get it to run, though. Uh, I'm here to do business with you. Straight to the point. I like that. Yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of people. Wait, Raheem skin outfit? Merc? Charmer outfit. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. It's actually kind of cool. A lot of outfits. I mean, I'm wearing the arm, the T fit B51, E51B armor, so I probably won't. Uh, is there anyone on the ship named Pinkerton? Now, there's a name I haven't heard in a while. Never met the man myself, but rumor has it he helped found Rivet City. Some rumors say he died trying to loot the broken bow of the ship. Others say he joined up with the Enclave. So you're with the city, you're, you're on the city council? Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. How'd you get the winterized power armor? Uh, from doing the, the Operation Anchorage DLC. When you do that, um... For the outcasts, it puts you into a simulation, and then once you finish it, the armory opens, and you can grab a bunch of weapons and armor. So, uh, whoever the Seagrave is, you think he's a threat to your influence? A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the council. He's a shady character. I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room, well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Okay. Um, could I ask you about the city's history? Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead enders squatting in a rusted out rowboat. Now I'm on the council and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, hey. a few of those dead enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Hasn't River City been around for longer than 12 years? Damn, my speech is killing it lately. 
Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. Oh, That's yeah? all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting Wait, your why time does that on look that, like a Spider-Man outfit behind him? Old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. Okay. Been a pleasure. Come back soon. What other requests do we get from him? Check other sources to confirm Rivet City's uh, history. Well, I hope they do something. One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last, last week. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, I heard she that was Batman? Water. About it. The ship's water isn't much better. If we don't get fresh water soon, Did we'll all end up like Could her. Could I have a Nuka Cola, please? Hey, the new long? I'm on duty. Make it quick. Wait, why does that sound like um Kevin Conroy? I'm tracking down a guy named Pinkerton. Do you know who where I can find him? Don't you believe the rumors? His ghost is certainly not haunting the bow of the ship. Now if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Uh I'd like to report someone? Oh really? If someone took your stuff, go get it back. If they nah, shoot it's, at you, it's shoot not back. Him. Otherwise, I've got to see it for myself before I'm going to do anything. I don't think, at least. No way it's him. All right, I got to go. Bye. Is it okay How with your parents? Today, honey? Is Dr. Leo have a seat anywhere. Finished? Someone will be with you. Need 100 a hundred lockpick in order to get to the other oh, side of the boat? Yeah, yeah, there's so many people. <clears throat> I do the repairs around here, so... Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular too. Oh. <laughs> Meyer Lurk gives me gas. I'd rather have squirrel. I'm partial to a Meyer Lurk cake myself. Then you are in for a treat. Ooh. Okay. Uh, do you know anything about Rivet City's history? I know a lot of places opened up when they got the hydroponics bay working, but that's hardly the start of it all, is it? Actually, Vera Weatherly might know more. She's always here and talking with folks, so if anyone's picked up a story or two, it'd be her. Huh. I'll let you Thank go. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. If you see something that needs... Cool. Fixing, let me know. Christy Henry Young. What? James Hargrave. Wait, why is that? What do you want? Where's your family? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Is that Damn. good enough for you, asshole? My bad. Jeez. All right. Let me just. Nah, nah. Not today, kid. Not today. Hello. Yeah. What do you want? Jesus. What? The hell? Why is everybody? Oh. <laughs> Damn. These are two. Is that your son running around? Yeah. Is that your son? Yeah. That's James, my own little troublemaking brat. Oh, yeah. I'd sell him to you if they'd let me. Damn. Unless you've got any more personal questions, I'm busy. Okay, relax. Hey. Victoria Watts? You've been rather busy lately, asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. I'd really like to know. Okay, I had no idea what you were talking about until you mentioned the android. Listen, I... I look, whoever this missing android is, I just want to help, okay? Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. Wait, why is her eyes the movement I'm red like that? With, we help his kind escape their commonwealth and post slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? Damn, are you are you a are you an android? Are you a synth? Uh, what would you have me do? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the <gasps> corpse. He'll believe you. Do that, and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that, and you'll have saved a man's life. Wait, I honestly... 
genuine question are synths in fallout before fallout 4 because if they are i did not remember that at all but i totally forget yeah uh anything else i should know just understand that this android is now for all yeah just this quest i believe a man he looks she's, human, oh she's he with railroad human. He believes he is human. Damn. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. Okay. Gotta go. You know what you need to do. I'm sure she'll just scratch Damn, how but how does nobody know with those eyes? If you want a gun, you've come to the right. Like that's so obvious. Why don't you look where you're going? Oh, I'm so sorry. Listen, I apologize. Have you seen my husband, Polly? Polly. Are you running any mods? No, I, d I don't really have any installed. Common room? The church back here, Diego. Hello. Mr. Lopez. How do you get the dog? Uh, you have to go to the scrap. Your oh, whoops. Uh, I did not mean to do that, and I'm glad nobody saw that. Evening. Evening. Ten years search for clues. Or tell Zimmer he's dead. Find the Pinkerton at the River City who knows about the android. Learn about the escape android. Dude, I haven't found any of the people that have been mentioned. Whoa. Yeah, the dogs are the best companions. Yeah, they're always so cool. Abraham Quite Washington. An impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name curator of this little slice of American history. It's an interesting collection indeed. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. Which document is missing? In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. Oh, you want me to retrieve the Declaration? All you have to do is ask. Oh, would you? It would mean so much to me and the society's collection here. I love to be a part of history and bring you the declaration. Excellent. Yeah, Nicholas Cage moment. I promise you. I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. Oh, cool. All right. Well, I looked around a bit. He showed me how to get to the archives on my map. In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building role play as Nicholas Cage. In a protective <laughs> glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Hey, that's Here, no problem let for me. me. Pinpoint its location for you. Okay. I right, gotta go. Wait, actually, do you know the history of the city? It's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got any idea about Rivet City itself. 
Okay. I can't see how important it is compared to the capital's history, but maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the governing council, after all. All right, gotta go. I hope next time I see you, the declaration will be in hand. Wow, a nice little room he's got here, eh? Yeah, it's crazy how many quests there are and like how good some of them are too. Where is Zimmer? And some of these other people that I need Please to talk. Excuse me. There is much work to be done. Oh, he's over here. Uh, what do you do around here? I help Dr. Lee when she needs equipment moved. I am no scientist. I just help with the heavy things. Don't care. This oh. lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Dr. Zimmer? Yes, yes, yes. But you there. What are you? Some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? Uh depends what are you talking about here. To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, mm. programmed to think synths. and feel. That's funny and that do I was asking about synths. And occasionally. They get confused and wander off. Why is this guy? He's got, he's got a little bit of a blink in his eye right there. I feel like this guy might be one too. Why? The android is dead. Can I save first? Oh, you can't save all. Uh, all right. Interesting. What's this got to do with me? You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Uh, tell me, Zimmer, is your wallet as big as your mouth? How quaint. <laughs> of course you'll be rewarded. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Oh, yeah? Sure, I'll look into finding your android. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here. Listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Missing Android? All right, gotta go. Of course you do. Good to see you. Hmm. Lay a hand on Dr. Zimmer and I'll snap your neck like a chicken bone. Bro, you sound like Kevin Conroy too. Don't touch the vegetables. Wait, They're where's Dr. Lee? Uh, Dr. Lee, here you are. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. Foreshadowing I, for Fallout 4. You. Yeah, right? My heavens, you look so much like him. That's so cool. You're like, James I never realized. Son, aren't you? Wait, what? What are you doing here? Wait, how do, you, how do you know who I am? Have we met? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now, I run the science lab here in Rivet City. Oh. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. Uh, have you seen him? I'm trying to find him. You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. 
For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Uh, I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. Well, where is he going? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Where is this old lab? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, so I guess that update... Does that update my current quest? Because I still have to go talk to this other guy. Uh, ever heard of someone named Pinkerton? That idiot? He left so long ago, most folk don't even remember him. He claimed to have found a secret stash of technology somewhere in the ship. Then he just disappeared. Uh, is there anything, any way you can help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or your chasing after him. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, come on. Isn't there anything you can do to help? I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. It's not much, but it might make things easier <laughs> for you. Speech 100. Hell yeah. Five. Damn, okay. I'll take it. Uh, what do you know about Zimmer? Oh, that man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? I've already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. Uh, what kind of place... It, what do you know about the city's history? I could tell you all about the science lab, but even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. Uh, gotta go. Good luck, fine. Yeah, we have so many quests now. Continue the search, retreat, stealing the independence. Oh man, some of these. <laughs> Evening. I gotta do. Yeah. Uh. Dr. Leah Smart is, she says. Uh, oh, what do you know about Zimmer? He's from up north. He was bragging about how great it is up there. Yeah, great. They can't even keep tabs on their robots. Okay. Yeah, see you. I'm Janice Kaplinski, chief botanist. What do you need? Do you know anything about the city's history? If it hasn't got to do with the science quarters, I'm probably not the one to ask. Okay. And Dr. Lee. Farewell. So Wait, so did that update Galaxy News Radio? We've also got this one now. Huh. I am probably going to lie to Zimmer. Search for clues about the missing android find Pinkerton in the River City. Alright, let me actually try doing that. Save again. Please excuse me. Do they not use the word no in the Commonwealth? <laughs> not just a robot. Your Marketplace? Oh, this is a different section of the ship. That's secure for a reason. My bad.
Ted Strayer. You can chill with me if you want, dude. Oh, sounds like a plan, man. All right, you and me <laughs> just hanging. Can I ask you about the Rivet City? Dude, I only just got here myself. Ain't nothing I could tell you. <laughs> All right, later. Later, dude. Oh man. I need higher uh lock pick for that one. Oh, it goes higher. That goes out to marketplace, capital preserve society. The hotel there. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Nice to see. You. Charmed to meet you. I'm Vera Weatherly of the Weatherly Hotel. Oh God, she's <laughs> she's a synth. Have you heard of any interesting gossip? Well, I really shouldn't tell you. Dude, but Rivets, Rivi have you heard about Polly Cantelli? Rivet City He's is crazy big. His poor wife Cindy is at her wit's end. Uh, are there any fun rumors flying around? You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. Oh, uh, yeah? But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. Ooh. Are there any other rumors? They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. Um... Do you know anything about the history? Well, I could tell you all about my hotel, but I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself. Did you have speech started. 100? You need to go to the top I of the mean, ship. You hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't. I'll say try I to keep going. Sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Is there anyone who knows more? Actually, now that you mention it, Seagrave may know more about it. He's been here since he was just a boy. And I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. Where is that guy? Um, what's the story with Dr. Lee? She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. All right, so long, Vera. Farewell. She's cool. You a synth too, sir? I'm on duty. Make it quick. Uh Okay. Got to go. Hey, anything going? Seagrave. You must be new. I'm Seagrave. If you've got anything you want to unload, stop by my shop, Rivet City Supply. Anything chems, guns, how about parts and junk? Yep, I'll take it all. One man's junk is another man's treasure. Uh. Let's see. What do you know about the history? Oh, I really wouldn't know. I don't know I why mean, I'm so interested in finding remember, out this history, but I want to know been more. Here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. But I never really cared about the politics. Mm. Can you think of anyone from back then that might know more? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. 
Vera spoke very highly of you. She says you know all about this place. She did? Well, I suppose I've picked up a lot over the years. I mean, no one's spent more time tinkering on this old girl than I have. Oh, Rivet City, I mean. Not Vera. Oh, I mean, yeah. Vera's not old. And I haven't tinkered on her, obviously. Not that I wouldn't. I mean, um... Uh, okay. No. Anyway, you might find some clues in Pinkerton's place, in the Broken Off Bow. He was around before me and used to store stuff there before he left. Okay. Uncover the true history. Ooh. What can you tell me about reconstruction? Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the Mirelurks used to nest and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I guess the mutants and the Myers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place shipshape. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. Yes, she is. All right, enough about Rivet City. Bannon tells me you're trying to steal his council seat. Steal it? Hardly. He runs the council like it's his own personal bank account. He's supposed to represent all the market businesses, not just himself. It's about time he was replaced. Okay. All right. See you later. Vera, I know I'm not a sophisticated man, but I am a man. And I can take care of you. Oh. He likes her. Tamper with that and you're going to have a problem. Vera Weatherly's door. Sir, yeah, I think the show has been pretty good so far. Weatherly, Mr. Buckingham, at your service. Uh, that's all. Yes. Okay. Hotel room door. Sister's hotel door. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. It's so hard to tell, like, which rooms you stop in. There's someone like heavy breathing. Is he sleeping with his gun in his hand? He is. Damn. Something in there. I'm Flack. If you want something better than that pea shooter, stop by Flack. I. Uh... <laughs> this pea shooter has saved my life more than once. I'm sure that was just luck. You should upgrade. Check out our shop in the market. Have you ever heard of a guy named Pinkerton? You mean Genius Boy? Yeah, I've heard of him. Supposedly built Rivet City. They probably think he invented bread too. Idiots. Lately, he's even been blamed for the noises in the broken ship bow. Anyone with half a brain would know that's just the Meyer lurks. Time for me to go. Later. I heard that the city council was debating putting Wait, how do you get to the top of the ship? I haven't found uh like I think okay there's here. a staircase over here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Trap no one flack. What time is it? 
don't know you, don't. Ah, uh, my bad. Know where I can offload some guns? You're kidding, right? All right. See you later. Bye. Ciao once again. Thank you for all the likes so far, wherever you're watching. I appreciate it. Uh, my Twitch is cast as plays TV, and then YouTube is just hey cast as plays. Oh, we can still go higher. Jeez. Bridge tower. Hey there. Hey there. Flight deck. Please excuse me. There is much work to be done. Uncover the true history. Oh, we have a, an actual marker now. Wait, is there actually somebody up here? God, it goes higher? It keeps going? Oh, well, I guess we're going all the way to the top. Damn, dude, this is crazy. It just keeps on going. Up and up and up. This is ammo, lunchbox. Private Jones. Oh, my bad. Sir, yes. There's a security emergency on the flight. <laughs> Eddie is private. I'm here to inspect the armory. Sir, you are not authorized to. Please don't make me. I won't. I won't. Okay, relax. Oh, hey there. Good to see you. Everything looks okay here. Higher? I'm on duty. Make it quick. Polly really addicted to chems? Oh, yeah. He's a mess. I'm glad I'm not in Cindy's shoes. Later. Yes. Jeez. <laughs> Wait, do I have to climb out from here? I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Another glorious day. Get to the bridge, top deck. Hello. Another glorious day in this. It's not here, though, right? Let me go back down. Look out. Why is he so pissed? Yo, I didn't do anything. Oh, maybe it's this one. Oh. Sir, yes. 
Yes. There's a security emergency on the flight deck. Sir, this slag keep appreciate. Did I get bad karma for that? Uh oh. Uh, it shows. Plans. Clips. Damn. Uh oh. He's pissed. time you get this message I'll already be gone I'm escaping the Commonwealth I want to live my own life on my own terms as my own man I know what you're thinking that I'm malfunctioning I used to think that's what caused the runaways too but I know better now self-determination is not a malfunction I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore you humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us sins as persons I know you'll be marshalling the retention bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. Whoa. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. Why is he so pissed? I need them to get in, open the vault. Sexy sleepwear? <laughs> Grass. Wow. Oh my god. Security log. Caught James Hargrave stealing food at Gary's Galley. And we paid the fine, although she blistered my ears the whole time. Look out. Look out. Damn, it's a fight. What is happening? Sir, yes. Sir, you are. Please don't make me. Let me in. Oh. All right, I'm going back here. I'm reloading. Uh, what's your story here? Sir, this slag heap is guarding the armory, sir. Ah, so you guard the armory. Man, I don't know how, yeah, I don't know what else I would have to do to get to the top. This area is off limits to civilians. My bad. Ship's water isn't much better. If we don't get fresh water soon, we'll all end up like her. Hold on, let me let me look it up. Hey.
How to get to top? Uh. Oh, find Mr. Lope. I did see him. up front uh that's what i'm trying to figure out apparently there's somebody at the top that chat is telling me about so i'm trying to get to the top i saw mr lopez earlier yes everything looks okay here I also want to try to get to wherever this Mr. Pinkerton area is, too. Hotel. I think he was in here. He was one of the guys that I didn't talk to. And he was asleep on a bed. Don't even think of breaking into that. I'm not relaxed. Nice day, huh? There was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. The gate sister? They call me sister. Don't ask. Okay. <laughs> hey, I don't want any trouble. Smart move. What did you want? Shopping area? Uh, learn anything about the history? Do I look like so? Okay. So. Yes? Hello? It's 2 42 a.m. There's Bannon. Marketplace, society, muddy rudder. Nice. That's secure for a reason. You try talking to him. Actually, let's wait until like. 9 a.m. too, so that way people are out and about. All right, we'll go eight. I'm Brock, the bouncer. I take care of the troublemakers. You are going to be a. Uh, no, sir. I'm just here to drink and talk. Let's keep it that way. Bell can mix almost anything as long as. All right, let's wait one more hour. There we go. I'm Bell Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick you. Okay. Nice place you have here. You must be drunk. <laughs> okay. I'm looking for uh, someone named Pinkerton. Ring any bells? What a moron. Always going on about how he started Rivet City. Who gives a crap? Right before he disappeared, he was going on about some newfangled contraption he was sure was in the broken bow of the ship. Heard any good stories lately? Go talk to Vera if you want gossip. Okay. Later, Bell. Oh, this is open now? Oh, did I just get locked in here? Who's this? Hey, stranger. Wanna buy a... Hey, good looking. How come you haven't bought me a drink yet? Uh, go ahead and pick your poison. 
Here's five now caps. Now that's what I like in a man. Enough <laughs> caps to buy a lady a drink. There you go. Uh, could I ask you about the history? Can't help you with the history, hon. All right, gotta go. Yeah, it seems like today is a lot of exploring on Rivet City <laughs> to see what's here. Okay, a bunch of filing cabinets. Take me back to oh it takes me here. I'm looking for troublemaker. Have you seen any? Is there a problem? Why'd you decide to live on this old rusty tub? We're the safest, most secure city in the wasteland. Nothing can get in here without our say so. I heard you were on some sort of city council. Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to What's talk up, Chris? about citywide issues. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. Hmm. What can you tell me about Dr. Lee? She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. What do you know about the city's history? I don't exactly have time to worry about... Okay. Thanks for the help. All right, let me save here. Is this telling me that there's an objective right here? Oh, that's all the way on there. Okay, I see. So to get there, do you have to uh, maybe you have to go onto the ground and go down there? I get back up. All right, we'll go back inside real quick. Oh, let's fast travel to Rivet City. There we go. And then I'll then I'll go down there. Okay, so I want to try to find um, Mr. Lopez first, and then once we find him, then we'll go do that. Hey, welcome to Don't even Shrapnel. think of breaking Best into that. Goddamn weapons anyway. Welcome to Rivet City Supply. Wow, everybody's in their re regular spots now. Hello. Light deck. Oh, I see. So it's completely separated from everything else. Ah. I'll be right with you. I'm done, I Mom. Need a drink. I'm going to play with CJ. Hello. Was there something else? Uh, what's this moment movement you mentioned? We call ourselves the Railroad. Oh. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. It's so cool playing this, like, after knowing a lot of uh, Fallout 4 stuff. Even though, yes, I did play this, like, forever ago. Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy to see, though. Uh, what about human slaves? Don't you try to help them, too? Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Can I join? Tell you what. You deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead. And you can consider yourself a member in good standing. Okay. You... You can be found on the observation, observation deck. 
There's a gnome. Oh come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. I'm sorry, I'm knocking I'm stuff over. Makers. Have you seen any? Who this? Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. Vera. Dr. You're Preston. In the City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. I haven't talked to him yet. Uh, you're a doctor, right? Could I could use some help? Sure, I could patch you up. Nothing too serious. Sure. This won't hurt a bit. Thanks. Thanks, sir. You're all set. Uh. Damn, there's a lot of stuff here. Know someone named Pinkerton? Pinkerton, eh? That name takes me... He was always telling folks that he founded Rivet City. All... Okay. Alright. Yeah, there's so much I could ask. Patient. Where's the observation deck? Hey there. Science lab. It's so easy to get lost in these halls. Good to see you. Good to see you. Don't Brock. Wait, I haven't talked to her. Stay away from me. What do you want? Are you? Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. What are you so scared of? I suppose it doesn't matter if I tell you. I used to be a slave. I saw a slaver on this ship. His name is Sister. I'm afraid he's after me. Oh. May Wong. Note added. Don't worry. I will never turn into a runaway slave. Really? Oh, thank you. Yeah, of course. Can you help me? I've been so worried with him around. Okay. I can hardly... Here's 25 cab. Maybe you can buy yourself a gun. <laughs> Let me think about it. Let me think about it. I... Oh, wait, you know what? Well... Ma'am, I... yes. Here's 25 cabs. Thank you. I don't have anything to give you. If you ever go up north, there is a secret slave hideout called Temple of the Union. You might find them useful. Oh. Okay. Dude, it's so I love I love this game. <laughs> nah, I don't want I don't want to tell on her. I don't want to get the bad cam uh karma. I'm I mean, looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Ted Mr. Lopez was sleeping right here I'm pretty sure Everything looks okay here Yes. Good to see you. What else do you want from me? Wait, you guys look awfully similar to each other. Be careful around these fruits and. What do you know about Zimmer? Other than him being an egotistical, arrogant, he's from the Commonwealth. He's come looking for some special robot. I must admit, I'm rather. So... I've already told you. Uh. Okay. Never mind. What do you need? Never uh -huh. mind. Hey, this place could use a few more people willing to work. Please, everything is falling me. apart. I'm There's the only one willing to fix it. Down. Commonwealth Fallout Four lore activated. <laughs> All right, we're going up higher. For a reason. Don't get any up. You guys are saying he's up higher. Everything looks okay here. Mr. Lopez. I haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember. Why wouldn't I remember you? Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Sir, I've been looking Don't for worry. you like crazy. It won't be a problem for. Hey. 
What do you mean about that, Just sir? Leave me alone. Hello. Hello. Zimmer, by the time you get this message... Remember that secret android project? Okay. Uh, search for clues, find out about Pinkerton, it's about the air Okay, I'm gonna go, yeah, we need to go do this. Cause these both connect to each other. Somebody said we yes. can get all the way to Pinkerton's area. So there's two ways to get there. Good to see you. I guess. Above or below? Good to see you. Hello. I'm on duty. Make. Kind of lost. Can you help me? Um. Who's in charge? Depends. Chief Harkness is in charge of security. Doctor Lee. Welcome to Potomac Attire. What are you looking at? Yes. Yes. I heard that the city council is debating putting railings on the flight deck. Well, Tampa I hope they do something. Going to have to remember that child that fell off the deck. The new immigrants died of raiding. Okay. Asian poisoning lab. Is there a problem? week yeah all right we're going around the corner uh over here i guess google says the easiest way is to the under uh water door is by getting to the flight deck and jumping really Like jumping to that over there. There's also an entrance right there. Let's try going to that thing. Can you like dive in the water? Oh, you can? Man, it's been a while. I know we're about to get attacked. Yep, I knew it. Damn. Oh, right. I forgot how far. I'm using the shotgun. <laughs> You're wrecked. Just bad for rads. Yeah, I'll put on like a rad, a rad X or rad away. I always forget the two. One of them puts, sends the rads away and the other one gives you higher resistance. Does this door require lockpick? Yeah, it does. Okay. Aid. Rad resistance. Here we go. Let's save again. 
All right, I'm going in. Hey. That's pretty good. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't breathe. I forgot about that. Oh, no. Wait, what am I supposed to do? I uh, do I oh no I didn't think about this part wait how do I see my oxygen yeah apparently we can't breathe underwater good good yeah wait it reset Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Is there a way to, um, Is there like a, uh, shoot, what's it called? Something that I can get that lets me breathe underwater? Oh, let me go back. Shoot. Reload right here. Like a rebreather? Yeah. I'm assuming there's got to be one. Yo, what's up, Pat? There's gotta be, maybe they sell one in in Rivet City. Let me go back in. That'd be very convenient. Don't mind me. Hey. Hey, do you guys sell any? Decided to check out the shop. Eh? Yeah, let's see what you got. Need to. I know you've got guns, but <laughs> might be better. You can make it, just be conservative with your O2. Well, how do I, like, how, though? Like, it's just dropping super fast. Gotta run. You, for a reason. Talk to this guy. Take a look around. Um. Oh, you can go up. Okay. Should be able to get air once you get into the ship. Just keep going up and watch for the Marlurks. There's also a door on the side of the ship. I'm unsure if it's locked. Uh... Oh, okay. I see, I see. Funny when I look see that up, Fallout 3 Rebreather, and it shows that. Yeah, but the other way, I have to... Um, The other way you need like a hundred, uh, whatever it's called. I'm jumping.
The other way you need a hundred lockpick. And I don't like have that right now. At least. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Are making progress. Flashlight. Flashlight on. Flash out. <sighs> Aha. It's a mother. Hey, get over here. My dog is fighting him. <laughs> Damn. Good dog meat. Very good dog meat. Upper for the win. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Crap metal. Yeah, Rivet City has been awesome so far. Oh. Aha! Let me save. Before we go through that door, I want to check these first. That mine was activate? Are you kidding me? Mine was active. Damn. Uh, oh shit. Wait, why didn't these shotguns go off? What'd I do? I did something that didn't set them off. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dude, bro, that scared the hell out of me. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What? I saw the the. Holy! Oh no! Oh no! Wait, am I walking into it? I am. Jesus. I mean, I survive it, but what what is it? There's like gas or something going off. Damn, that hurts, but I seem fine. Hold on, I'm going back. Where was that other door? Oh, it's right here. Oh, that's this door. Okay. Yeah, so I, I unlocked the switch right there. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, there's another mine. <laughs> Yeah, this is Rivet City right now. All right, I'm saving. Dude, it's a good thing I've got this power armor on. Feel like I can get through this fine. Ooh, found a switch. Okay, okay. My bad. Hey, look who it, are you Mr. Pinkerman, Pinkerton man? How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. Yeah. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. 
Listen, get man, on with it already. I got a lot of quests that are leading directly to you, so you got a lot to explain for. I. Let's discuss the facial reconstruction and mind wipe you did for the android. What are you talking about, boy? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? Let's just say it's in your best interest to tell me what you want, to, uh, what I want to know. Uh... Yeah, what I want to know. Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Ah. Comes in and wants a memory job. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I already knew that because chat said it 20 ones. times, but that's Don't okay. Don't believe anyone's done that before. <laughs> Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than mm. ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. So I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. Your first playthrough? Nav, I've played Fallout 3 a long time ago, but it was on 360 days, so I don't I don't remember much. Like every once in a while there's something that I remember, but not a whole lot. Like I didn't even remember that uh that synths were in this game. Completely forgot about that. Uh, what she got to do with this? Show me this proof about the android. Well, she's got nothing to do with anything except ruining my whole goddamn life. But I can see you don't give a crap about any of that. Fine. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape straight from the synth man's lips just don't go telling harkness though he won't believe you anyway and you really don't want to see him upset he can be a bit inhospitable hmm um there's something you aren't telling me isn't there oh all right so maybe i didn't wipe his mind like he asked but I buried it deep. Almost as good, really. But it's still there. Still accessible. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet. And that will activate the hidden subroutines. Huh. Why'd you help the android? Ha. <laughs> Why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff in there I'd only heard about, and even then I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. So I can either lie to Zimmer and tell him that he's dead, or warn him about Zimmer and say he knows that you're here. Or potentially do both. What do you know about this Android Railroad? Bunch of bleeding heart morons, if you ask me. They're going to get themselves killed one of these days. And for what? Machine liberation? But they have brought me some really interesting tech over the years, so I guess they're okay. And that android, he was the chance of a lifetime. Uh... So tell me about the city's history. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers. You can do a lot of bad side. or very little now good. Get going. I'm, I'm still going for a good playthrough. I want to be the nice guy. I want to get the good endings <laughs> to stories or help help people as I can. When did you start playing this? Uh, we started about like two weeks ago. Two, three weeks ago. I've been playing Fallout every Friday and then weekends uh, when I have time. I heard you're the. I hear you're the only one who knows the full truth about Rivet City's founding. Ha! Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. You were on city council. That's 
That's hard to believe. <laughs> Setting the record straight is exactly my goal. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the mire lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. Hmm. So you used to be in charge? How'd you end up here? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell, if I'm leaving the city, I made great. Do you have any hard evidence about this? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything else? What do you know about the Commonwealth? Most of it's blasted nothing, just like here. But there's talk, rumors mostly, about a place called... Yo, the Institute, the Institute That's where Zimmer and that android came from. Oh. God knows what else they got going on in there. Okay, I didn't connect that. But it to shame, that's for damn sure. Dude, that's so cool. Cute major foreshadowing to uh, Fallout 4. Oh, that's awesome. Don't let your guard down. Damn, we got a lot of stuff from him. To do council minutes, Harkness after picture, before picture. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can actually see it's before and after. My designation is A3-21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth, and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City, where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else. I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, who performed the surgery Damn. and will do the memory transfer. It will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth. But I'm done with that life. I'm through with being someone's property. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? When this is all over. I will be someone else. Damn. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell, and running away is the only option I have. What's talking? It was a note that I was listening to. Oh, wait. Oh, Pinkerton Pastor? All right. Shoot, he told me about the computer. Oh, let me go back. Just to do it. You have so yeah, I do have 76. Oh, there's definitely a wait. Is this the right way? Oh, it is. <clears throat> I am looking forward to it. So like once I finish this new Vegas and then four, uh, or like do all the stuff that I want to do. And then I do plan on going back to 76 because I have really have not played it since like they came out with their big update and then I just couldn't get into it at the time. Um, but, but I am excited to check it out again. Where's the... Um... Where is this computer? Is it? Well, that's uh, nice. <laughs> he told me to use his computer. Yes. Pinkerton, where is your computer, my man? I 
I mean, it, it sounds like it's right here, but damn, he's got a lot of bottle caps. All right. Oh, here it is. Jeez. So hard to see. Yeah, 76 has pretty good uh, reviews now. Surprisingly, like most people actually kind of like it because they brought they they brought uh, all of the uh, like NPCs back to it, like brought storylines, actual people that you can meet and run into. Um, I think they, they did a pretty decent job at updating it. What what the heck? Oh. I know who you really are, Harkness. You can't fool me. I'm a little busy right now. Uh, wait. <laughs> I saved right before. <laughs> we need to talk. That's what my wife said. Right before she left to go live with her mother. Oh, yeah? What's the problem? Oh, shoot. I'm locked in. I uh, forget I say anything. Quit wasting my time. Now, wait, can I still go back and say stuff? All right, hold on. I want to reload. Hold on. All right, yeah, we'll go to we'll go to Zimmer. And get him off his back. Um, what's the one of these takes you to the lab? Science lab. Science lab. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen it? I'm going to... All right, Zimmer. The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slot. The android is dead. Here's an internal component. What? Let me see that. This is a neuro servo, unique to the A321. I. And you say you got this from his corpse? I suppose there's no other way you could have obtained it. Well, damn it! I was afraid this would happen. Out here in this, this wasteland. Well, here's 50 caps for your troubles. Try to buy 50. yourself an education out here in this hell. Good day. Are you kidding, sir? <laughs> 50 caps. <laughs> I'm about to give this guy 50 caps myself. Nah, I won't. I won't. Uh, do high repair. I want to get higher sneak as well. And yeah, let's go intense training. I want to try to bump up some of my other stuff. My special attributes. Intelligence. Let's do higher intelligence. Yeah, I know a lot of people say that their game consistently crashes on PC. Um, when I, I mean, like, I had one crash so far, but, or I mean, I, typically I have at least one per stream, but I haven't gotten one today yet, though. So. Yeah, I, I was going to do it and then slowed back, but whatever. I don't want to bug anything. Dog me, what are you doing? I 
I did it in my mind. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, return to Moira. Talk to... I still could go talk to Lopez. Hold on, chat. Okay, sorry, chat. Um, I guess we don't have to do the thing for Mr. Lopez. Yeah, whatever. I mean, if we come back here, then I can do it then. Let's, uh, so multiple things. We got a few quests to hand in now. Let's go back over to Megaton. Oh, that's what I meant to do, too. Shoot, I meant to get my, uh, ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. Let me actually go back real quick. Can I... Yeah, I'm going to load right here. I wanted to get my explosive to 25. So that way I can disarm the thing. I'll put some points into sneak. Put five there. Five here. Yeah, we'll do that. Hence training, done, and then intelligence. Okay. Now we're good. Chad, again, thank you for all the likes so far, wherever you're watching. I appreciate it as always. Uh, my YouTube is Castus Plays and Twitch is Castus Plays TV. Every Friday we've been playing uh, Fallout. We're working on three. Once we finish three, I do want to plan, or I do plan on playing New Vegas, and then same thing with uh, four, um, and so on. So down the line. All right, let's select this one. Turn to Moira. Travel to Megaton. Yeah, you need something. Was your character look right? Look, look like right now. This is what he looks like. We're wearing the uh, Operation Anchorage armor. One second shot. Bro. Okay. Sorry. There's a million things happening. Uh. Okay. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Activate. Every ear shall be. Successfully disarmed the bomb. Death to hear the thunder of his voice. Woo. Let the men, women, and children report to Lucas. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? And they're you never the wiser. Thing. Here's your reward. Hell. Why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. Hey. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Sweet. My Megaton house. 
Uh, which one is it? I think it's this one. Yep. Would you look at that? Wadsworth? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth. Oh. robotic butler. We got a butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Uh, where can I buy more things for my place? Yes, I believe this place could do with a bit more in the way of decoration. Speak with Moira Brown at Craterside Supply here in Megaton. She has quite a selection of items to... Oh, that's kind of cool. Tell me a joke. Ah, do you know the best contraceptive for old people is nudity? <laughs> what? <laughs> you have yourself a... F uh okay i get i get okay ha 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 good one all right i need to drop stuff off here activate bobblehead collector stand and that's the only bobblehead i've gotten so far <laughs> nice i don't even know where to put my stuff at here I mean, I guess I could here. Missed one in your vault. Oh. Locker room. Yeah, I guess I should throw stuff in my right here. All right, yeah, like that sword, I'm probably not going to use. The fat man, I'll put away for now. I'll put away five grenades. That way I have some in storage. Same thing with five mines. Hunting rifles, I can repair. Laser pistol. Repellent stick, I'll put away. Hunting rifle, 32. All right. Yeah, I wanted to put away the armored suit. Stealth armor, that. Like, three buff outs. These are all, like, emergency stuff. Wait, Radex? Oh, there's some of these don't weigh anything. Oh, yeah. If it, if it doesn't weigh anything, then I'll just hold on to it. Stealth Boy, I definitely don't need all, all those on me at once. Alright, nice. Oh wait, sanitizer is no longer active. I'll hold on to it. I get it doesn't weigh too much now. Now that I can carry a decent amount. What's up, Anthony? All right, let's go hand in this quest to Moira. Oh no, Ooh, I almost locked. Okay, well, let me go fully rest then. I didn't realize what time it was. Nothing like having him hover right over me while I sleep in my bed. <laughs> All right, 9.30. Back out here. Here. You've done so much for it. Hey, thank you. What'd she give me? You gave me dirty water. 
Okay, sure. I'll take it. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? I did, actually. 63, Rivet City is actually remains of an ancient underwater civilization. <laughs> she would actually believe that. After a lot of searching, I've got the real history of Rivet City. Aha! Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. True. So, tell me all about it. Uh, ooh, intelligence and charisma? Again, as a research station, it had success as a science station and people flocked to success. It began as a research station, which is why it's still a scientific haven. Hmm. With the protected location and resources that came from those scientific advances, I can definitely see how it grew so quickly. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these for the next time you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Oh, hey. Ready to continue my research. We'll I've see. I've got to do a section on working with old computer electronics. So there's some research to be done in the old Robco production facility. Also, there used to be a big library out there. Imagine a whole building full of books. I'll need you to gather information there for me. And that'll be it for the last chapter. So what'll it be? Okay. Uh, using old technology sounds interesting. It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. Now that would be a... Okay. Just go in and connect to the widget to the mainframe? I can do that. Sure. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Uh, uh, I hear you're the person to see about buying stuff for my house. Good to see that old house finally found an owner. I have all sorts of items and themes for that place that may interest you. What items? Uh, can you tell me what the items do? Of course I can. Which one in particular? My first infirmary jukebox. First laboratory and Nuka-Cola workbench. Oh, that's cool. First infirmary. If you're wounded or you've hurt one of your limbs badly, this setup will allow you to heal it up as good as any other wasteland doctor. Oh, okay. What about the laboratory? This setup is great for experimenting and coming up with it can also be used to get rid of any horrible addictions you might Hmm. Alright. That's enough. Uh, let's talk about something else. Let me take a look. Sure. How much does it cost for some of those? Fallout, fallout indeed. Indeed, indeed. Damn! 1680? What the hell? <laughs> that costs so much. Yeesh. I think I barely got anything to sell. Like, I didn't sell this. That's about it, though. Everything else I kind of used. Good hunting. You repair my equipment. You got um, all right, never mind. She can't repair anything. Gotta go. She said, try not to die. <laughs> okay. You take a look here. Install the process. Where is this? Oh, damn. Of course, that's going to be all the way down there. Wes. So we still have to turn in this one. Where is this at? Uh, the National Archives.
Oh, uh, it's right over here. And we also got to do this one too, which is over in Metro Station. Let's actually go there real fast. How you like the show? The show's been pretty good so far. What's up, Bob? Yeah, I've, I've been enjoying it. About to probably go make some dinner soon and watch watch another episode or two. Probably. Playing this game has kind of also made me want to play uh, Metro again. Especially with all these like stations that we're going through. I never realized how many like stations you do go down. I think I just took the long way of getting here. Yeah, because I definitely would have been able to just fast travel here. You're kidding. Ugh. Yep. Where is this place? Oh, the GNR building plaza. Wait, the bodies just went flying. The value on power armor is actually like pretty weak. All right, save. I just want to. Oh, with you. oh, hey there. That was some nice shooting, taking out a behemoth single-handed. Yeah, I do my best. Do what I can. Free dog. What time is it? Why is he asleep? Hey, all right. The hero of the wasteland returns. Yes, sir. Uh, thanks, three dog. I was just glad, just glad to help with the good fight. <laughs> I did what had to be done. And well done indeed. Now GNR can be heard clear across the capital wasteland again. That'll give Eden and those muties something to think about. Uh, okay. Well, I already know. <laughs> That's funny. Well, you got what I what you wanted, and I already know about my dad. So, yeah, I heard you found out about your dad, and yet you went ahead and kept your promise to me. It'll take some real moxie, kid. Three dog can't let you walk away from here empty handed after all that. Here, I want you to take this. I was saving it for someone special, someone who could really help with the good fight. It contains the location of an old weapons cache. You're welcome to help yourself to anything inside. Hey, okay. Anytime you need a place. Wow, that's. That's all he was going to tell me. So the same information that we found from going to Rivet City. He was going to tell me. Welcome to the GNR garrison. That was a hell of a fight. Night Dylan. Pleased to meet you. I'm Night Dylan. Uh okay. You're welcome. Peace. Man, they're really uh protecting this place. What info did he give me? I kind of do want to do this steal the independence thing, but I'll probably do that. Um, where's this one also? Oh, wait, are we really that close? Oh, it's down by the Jefferson Memorial. Wow, that's really close too.
All right. We start listening to yeah. I the reason I have the radio disabled is because of copyright, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would. But chat, we are actually going to chill right here. Uh, we made some pretty good progress. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I am my goal is I'm gonna go have some dinner. Uh, go eat and then afterwards i'll be back on tonight i think we might check out this uh chill game called manor lords and then uh tomorrow we'll definitely be returning to this i'll probably be doing a stream of this first thing in the morning um maybe even two streams depending on how i'm feeling we'll see not 100 percent sure but possibly um but yeah i'll be back on in a little bit i'm not sure i'll probably say in discord uh what time and then We'll take the day from there. So, again, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the new followers. My YouTube is Cassus Plays. Twitch is Cassus Plays TV. I'll see you all later on. Join the Discord if you want announcements every time I go live. And for now, that's that's all I got. So, see you all then. Have a good one. Peace.